eight zero on the pen express let's see what we got for the fortune cookie let's see what the fortune says here all right uh an adventure filled with good food and friends awaits good friends Good food awaits. I like that. I like that. Now, question. I want to know, is Panda Express real Chinese? Is Panda Express real Chinese? You got to let me know. This struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. Hey, 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 here we are. Happy Feel Good Friday. Hey, you guys remember that, don't you? Here we are, Feel Good Friday, Feel Good Friday. We fought on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday for a right to party on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. You guys, you guys, here we are. Happy Feel Good Friday! Oh, it feels good. Tim feel good. Running feels good. Had a great week. Hope you had a great week. I'm just filled with gratitude, filled with gratitude. And uh, oh, I got so much on my mind I wanna to talk to you guys about. I remember on a run, well, one of my favorite runs of all time actually, was on a Feel Good Friday. Yeah. Uh, you guys remember that time where I was, uh, it was raining, it was raining. Great day, run through those puddles. You got this, run through those puddles today, y'all. was a fun fun feel good friday that's right run through those puddles y'all run through those puddles we got to run through our struggles y'all i've been thinking a lot i've been thinking a lot about struggles and just how there are so many awesome people fighting the fight right now fighting the fight and here it is y'all here it is we're in october of this pandemic and we're still fighting the fight we're still fighting a fight, but here's the thing, y'all. We are stronger today. We are stronger today because we kept with it. That's right. It is one step in front of the other, one heartbeat at a time. We're always looking forward. We're saying, all right, I'm struggling right now, but how can I push through this struggle? How can I work through it? And guys, consistency, consistency, building a routine, you know, all the things that we talk about. It feels sometimes like you're just struggling so much and then you get out a day or two or a week or a month and you look back and you go, oh wow, what was I going through then? Oh my goodness, I have made so many gains, so much progress since then. It's because you keep doing it. You keep pushing forward. You keep trying to want better. You keep wanting to have the life you want to live. You keep just being you. Just keep fighting it. Let's go. All right, confession time, confession time. Here we go. Vulnerable time, vulnerable time. All right, you guys. Hey, I know I seem really happy all the time and encouraging and inspiring. I know I seem like that uh, on video, but also, I wanna to come to you with the times where I might be struggling. I might be struggling, you know, and for me, <clears throat> this part right here, what I'm getting ready to talk about has been a struggle because as a professional and as a therapist, I'm not sure if my profession and our culture puts it on me or I put it on myself. And I really always go back to no matter what, 
as we put it on ourselves, right? It's something that we're struggling with inside. But I always feel this discomfort about talking about my struggles because as a therapist, you know, as a therapist, the idea is we're supposed to have it all together, right? We're supposed to have it all together. And how can we be teaching other people about life and how to manage life if we can't even manage our own life, right? And so it's hard for me to talk about my own struggles because I think in my head, well, what are you gonna think of me? What are you gonna think of me if I'm struggling as a therapist, right? Do I have it all together? And so part of this for me is just to normalize that we all struggle, that we all struggle. It's a part of just, living life right you've heard me talk about everyone's struggles and so for me i've t in the last vlog i talked about that uh just had a little stress this week just had a little stress and i wanted to uh just tell you guys that uh just because you stress doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's like okay what do we do with our skills now right what do we do with our skills and i really believe in cognitive behavioral therapy and I just really believe that uh, when we're struggling, it's just a part of life. Struggling is a part of life. But what skills do we have to work through those struggles? I really put more importance on what skills do you have and what, how do you work through those struggles more than what your struggles are. On a lighter note, I got to tell you guys a struggle that I have because some struggles are more difficult than others. But this is definitely a struggle that I have that uh, that bothers me. All right. I am a sloppy, a very sloppy toothbrusher, right? I, all about every day, I don't know if you can see it or not. Can you see that right there? Yeah. I struggle. I struggle with uh, not getting toothpaste on me. I don't know if that would be you or not. Maybe you're a clean toothbrusher, <clears throat> but I'm a sloppy toothbrusher. I'm a very sloppy toothbrusher and uh, I get toothpaste on me all the time. Okay, on a serious note real quick. Hey, this idea with everyone's struggles. This is something that I've talked about for a long time and I really believe it. And it's kind of deep for uh, Feel Good Friday, but it's on my heart. So I feel like I just wanna speak about it for a second. So I really believe in this idea that everyone struggles. Some of us struggle more than others, but we all struggle with something. All of us struggle with something. So it's not just the people that are diagnosed, right? It's all of us. Mental health is all of us. And so this idea of trying to normalize struggles is a big part what I believe in. So I believe if we are able to normalize struggles, so it's not just like, oh, I've been diagnosed with anxiety or depression, or I see a psychiatrist, or I'm on meds for anxiety, or I'm, I'm struggling with the, the loss of my brother. The more that we normalize mental health, and the more that we talk about that we all struggle, I think there's a couple things that will happen. And the day that these happen as a culture and as a society, I am going to be so happy. So, 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 so happy. Do you know how, do you know how happy I'm going to be? I'm going to be so happy. Uh, and it's a thought that I've had a long time. I actually bought, okay, a little secret, but I bought the website everyonestruggles.com that's how much i believe in it right because here's the thing if we normalize mental health and we normalize struggles then there are a couple things that are going to happen one thing that's going to happen is that we are just going to feel more comfortable to talk about our struggles right because everyone is going to be talking about their struggles everyone is going to feel comfortable talking about their struggles so that's going to give me permission to talk about my struggles and it's going to reduce the fear 
that I have that if I talk about my struggles, then someone is going to think poorly of me. They're going to discriminate against me. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose friends. I mean, it's going to reduce all of that, right? Because it, it is just kind of a commonality between all of us that we all have struggles. So that's one thing that it's going to do that if we're talking about a struggle. So the second thing it's going to do is because we're talking about our struggles and it's just known that we all struggle, we're going to feel more comfortable to support others, right? We're going to feel comfortable not only to support ourselves, but support others and their struggles. It's just going to become a common language. It's going to be part of just kind of our everyday life. And so we're just going to feel more comfortable. Okay, when someone's struggling, kind of what do I say and how do I support them? And oh, because I'm feeling comforted myself, then I feel like comforting other people, right? So this is the idea of everyone struggles. And I am hot, hot, hot on this idea. I think as a society and a culture, we really have, we, we've gone to both extremes. We go to one end that um, that I don't struggle, right? That, that I don't have any struggles. And the opposite end, I've got so many struggles, right? And there's not an in-between. And we need that in-between. We need that in-between of just everyone's struggles. Right, you guys, an out of the blue fave review. Out of the blue fave review, we got Panda Express tonight. I'm headed to a football game, so I needed something fast. We got Kung Pao chicken. We got half white rice, half chow mein. Uh, so we're going to get into this and see what it tastes like. Okay. Tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good. I like things being spicy. I think I like things being really spicy. So good. So good. Now, I would say my favorite, my favorite, if I'm going to go fancy, 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 Bolings. Bolings is over the top. It's a moonshot. It's Chinese. I love it. It's hard to get really good Chinese. It's hard to get really good Chinese, but Bo Bolings is probably my my top, it's my number one fave. It's my number one fave. But in a pinch, Panda Express, y'all, Panda Express. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches.